Thank you. Hi, I'm Ines, also from Heidelberg. And Hello. And I'm totally European. <laughs> um, and first of all, I wanted to tell you that your name in Hungarian means peach. If you knew peach. It. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, how about that? I did not know that. Yeah. Now you know it. And um, we wanted to know if you um, did you ever regret to have run for presidency till now? I mean, well, did you ever um, ask yourself, uh, am I sure? Am I sure to to manage? Um, yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, Michelle definitely asked that question. Um, you know, there, are, there have been times, certainly during the campaign, and there have been times uh, over the last several months uh, where you feel a lot of weight on your shoulders. There's no doubt about it. During the campaign, the biggest sacrifice, the thing that was most difficult was that I was away from my family all the time. Uh, you know, in addition to missing, uh, in addition to being jealous about uh, high-speed rail and the, and the nice trains here, I I'm also jealous of the fact that campaigns here only last a few months. Whereas in the United States, we were running for two years. So I was away from home all the time. And that was very difficult because uh, uh, not only uh, do I have a wonderful wife, but I have two perfect daughters. And so, you know, I, I miss them a lot. But, um, but the nice thing is now that I'm president, uh, it turns out I have this really nice office uh, in my house called the Oval Office. And so... It only takes me a few seconds to get, uh, get upstairs, and I'm home for dinner every night. Um, you also lose privacy and autonomy, uh, or, or, or anonymity. Um, you know, it's very frustrating now. You know, it used to be when I came to Europe that I could just wander down to a cafe and sit and have some wine and watch people go by and, you know, go into a little shop and... I you know, watch the sun go down, and now I'm in hotel rooms all the time, <laughs> and I have security around me all the time, and, and so just you know, you losing that ability to to uh, just take a walk, you know, that that is something that uh, that is frustrating. But having said all that, I truly believe that. There's nothing more noble than public service. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to run for president. That, you know, you might, you know, you might work for Doctors Without Borders, or you might volunteer for uh, an agency, or, or, you, or you might, uh, you know, be somebody working for the United Nations, or you, you might uh, be the mayor of Strasbourg, right? I mean, they're, they're all... You, you might volunteer in your own community, but the point is that uh, what I found at a very young age was that if you only think about yourself, how much money can I make, what can I buy, you know, how nice is my house, what kind of fancy car do I have, uh, that over the long term, uh, you, I think you get bored. I think your life, I think your life becomes, I, 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 I think if you're only thinking about yourself, uh, your life becomes uh, diminished. Uh, and, and that uh, the way to live a full life is to think about what can I do for others? How can I be a part of this larger project of making a better world? Now, that can be something as simple as, making, uh, of, as the joy of taking care of your family uh, and watching your children grow and, and succeed. Uh, but I think 
especially for the young people here, I hope you also consider other ways that you can serve. Uh, because the world has so many challenges right now. There's so many opportunities to make a difference. Uh, and it would be a tragedy if all of you who are so talented and energetic, uh, if you let that go to waste, if you just stood back and, and watched the world pass you by. Better to jump in, get involved. And it does mean that sometimes you'll get criticized and sometimes you'll fail and sometimes you'll be disappointed. Uh, but uh, you'll have a great adventure. And at the end of your life, hopefully you'll be able to look back and say, uh, I made a difference. All right?